Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. As of recording of Sunday, November 6, 2022, Patriot Park behind me, and you can probably see in the reflection of my sunglasses, there is someone wandering right over here. Someone who has not been in this vicinity, this neck of the woods since 2007. Whew. YouTube's own world of Micah. That's a long flight. You just flew in. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, are your arms tired. Yeah. But I'm... There it is. We're here. I have a few favorite things in town that I would like to show you. Yeah. You can add to that list as well of something maybe I haven't done. But in all reality, we're probably going to do the same things that I have done 18,000 times. We're making it 18,000 and Except one you're going to be with me. <laughs> yes. And this is going to be a... Because Christmas has kind of started mm -hmm. in, this, in this area. So it'll be, a, it'll be in November, even though Christmas is next month. It'll be a November 2020 update on some of my favorite attractions. And I get to see them through your eyes, the yeah. Wolf of Micah eyes. So I'm excited. Cool. Yeah. You just landed. I did. You got dropped off here. Yep. We're going to get in my rental car, and we're going to start in Pigeon Forge, and then go over to Gatlinburg to see what we can find. I'm inviting you to join me in World of Micah. Shall you? Yeah, I don't know if it's going to rain or not, but it's a possibility of some precipitation over there. The clouds and the Smoky Mountains. Great Smoky Mountain National Park and Gatlinburg is over that direction. Currently we're in Pigeon Forge and going to roam around. Now we're on our way over to the Jurassic Boat Ride, which is kind of a win and row moment. It's kind of a rite of passage when you're here in Pigeon Forge. But stopped off here at the Moon Pie General Store. I'm going to get myself a new t-shirt because I have been in California and I brought a lot of Halloween shirts. I don't, know about, I don't know about wearing like a skull and crossbones during when Christmas is kind of kicking off here. Even though it's November in Pigeon Forge. So this moon pie like a tractor beam is sucking me in. I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a t-shirt in here. And maybe even a moon pie for later. Yes. You're a moon pie fan. Oh yeah. yeah. Anyone, from, saw. anyone yeah. from the south, you're from Mississippi. Yeah. <laughs> you probably like RC Cola. RC Cola moon and pies. you like moon pie. Just yep. like Andy Griffith. Yep. I just saw there's pews out here. You know you're in the south, yep. man. Yep, church like pews. Home. Yep. Oh, I grew up on pews like that. See, I, I know we're like kind of brothers from another mother yep. when we both know what a church pew is. Yes, <laughs> both from Mississippi. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. Oh, that's a good one. Is that the one you're going to get? I think so. Look that's at this. Eat mo pies. <laughs> Eat mo pies. <laughs> Look out. The original moon pie sandwich. I might actually get a case of moon pies while we're in here too. Oh yeah. Is that the one you're gonna get? I don't want to get the. Is, I don't want to be smoky. full on twinsies. Ah, it's fine. What are the odds we're gonna wear this the same time? But the next time we're at Disney exactly. together. Exactly. <laughs> okay, this is an RC Cola. What's ICC Cola? They probably couldn't get the RC logo. Oh yeah. ICC. Yeah. IC Cola, and a moon pie. It's a southern thing. Oh, look at this. I got mooned. Oh look at this, my guy. Oh, there's a photo off there. Yeah. That's a photo. You should get up in the moon. Yeah. There you go. You're the man. There's an REM song about you. The man in the moon. Take a look at these gargantuan cases here. Double decker kind. Here's the minis. The banana. I actually really like the bananas. There's a bunch of there's a pumpkin spice. Get this pumpkin spice out of here. Halloween. Halloween is over. Stages of the moon pie. Right over here. Look at this. Moon me. Oh, I might get this. Would it be appropriate to wear a moon me shirt? It says moon me. <laughs> Uh, I think so. I might, I don't know. Oh, I might look get... at the sweater. Oh, is that an ugly Christmas sweater? It is. Look at that. It's on that sale. That is great. Oh, this, these socks are good too. Look at these socks. All right, I found a different shirt than Mike is going to purchase, and I kind of like this one just as much. This is the Deluxe Moon Pie Original Marshmallow Sandwich shirt. Because you know what? Who couldn't use a good moon? A moon pie. Moon me. Okay, this is making me want to get a piping hot caffeinated beverage somewhere. I don't think they have any on tap, but they do have, look at this, they have vanilla ground coffee right here. And chocolate. And chocolate. Oh, what if they have K-Cups? Right? Probably not. That'd be awesome. Well, you could just put that in a K-Cup. I could put it in a K-Cup, that's a good point. And then they have these mixer match for nine dot nine for, is it 10 for 10? Uh, 12 for seven bucks? Yeah, singles. The doubles were 99 cents and 9.99. Look at this. Yes. Sock monkey, is that what it was? Yeah. I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, you know what? I was talking about coffee, but I should start the day off. Should I get a moon pie? Maybe I'll get the moon pies for later, but we should start off with an RC call. Oh, yeah. Or cheer wine. Are you more of a cheer wine guy? Cheer wine or RC? Hmm. I'm going to go with RC because I get cheer wine all the time back home. Do you? Yeah, I'll grab it sometime. I get two, two RCs, start, two this, RCs. start this day off, right? That's it. Thank you. 
I was just mentioning how inexpensive moon pies are, but they used to be five cents. The biggest and best lunch in town for five cents. Oh, what's that? Are these the K-Cups? Oh, that's individually. These are, these are the minis. Oh, yeah. No, wait, that's an empty box. Oh, it's a, it's a cigar box. Oh, it is, a keepsake. Yeah. Okay, we got, we got a dozen. You have eight, I have four. That's a combined amount. But I think this has your name all over it right here because you've been do you've been doing like the handkerchief style. Yeah. Like you're gonna rob a train That's lately. It. You've been putting much right science experiments, okay? <laughs> Take a look at this for forty four ninety nine. There is a logo mat right here. Can I imagine walk can imagine walking around Epcot with a moon pie umbrella right there? This is nineteen ninety nine for a moon pie umbrella. <laughs> All right, got my bag full of stuff. I got got a dozen here. They gave me a box too, and I got and I got that T-shirt. I wonder if he did the peanuts in the RC. I used to do that. I'm gonna say yeah. Yeah, that's like the. Ooh, I can smell that banana kicking in. You got the banana. I got yep. the chocolate. We did Woo! The you didn't know you're gonna be doing a food review, did you? No, breakfast of champions. <laughs> It is like 1.30. Is it? Okay. I'm still in like, I, I, I got up at four this morning, so it's Cheers. still morning to me, yes. RC, sugar overload. You know, I'd eat the whole thing. <sighs> but it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> that best marshmallow mm. luck. That is good. But it gets everywhere. And only 220 calories. <laughs> I could eat like five of these. Yeah. Have made it over to Jurassic Boat Ride. Hey look, there's some dinos back here all shrunk wrap up. And these are the vehicles that used to be parked out front. They used to park these cars out front to appear as if there was more business in front of the place, off, you know, off the parkway. So people would pull in, but they now they have the cars around back. But if you listen closely, you can hear the dinos. Well, that's a car rumbling. But you can hear the dinos back here. Wait for it. They're right here behind this wall. Are you looking directly down the neck of a dinosaur? It's pretty terrifying here. You can see a little tongue and some, yeah. some teeth and a claw. With the claws there. I'm so excited for you to go on this. Yes. I hyped this. This is one of my favorite attractions in the Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge area, and I'm excited that you're about to go on this. I love this ride. This is not the backside of water, it's the backside of Jurassic Boat Ride. Prepare to have your mind completely blown. Yes, my first time we're See, doing it. We're on the same, we, we're kindred spirits when it comes to cheesy, bad, not so good roadside attractions. <laughs> we find joy in that. That's why you're gonna love this. Uh -huh. If you go into this thinking it's gonna be a Disney or Universal ride, Sorely mistaken. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Welcome to Jurassic Jungle Boat Ride. <laughs> Got the queue over here. First one's here. First one's here. Micah, come over here and tell me who this mannequin looks like. Not this mannequin. Okay. Not this mannequin, but that mannequin. Oh. Right there. Kind of. Looks like a weird, uh, not Nixon, um, Ronald Reagan? No, Jack Nicholson. It does? Yeah. Ah. It's a wax museum of Jack Nicholson right there. Is it really? Here's dinos. Wait till they get a load of me. It's a ghost boat. Right there. They used to have a big T-Rex up here, but I guess the T-Rex broke. They replaced it with this newer, is that a Velociraptor? Yeah. They replaced no, it with that. Look at that guy right there. He kind of looks like Harrison Ford. He is like uh, Harrison Ford if if he had my body build. If he ate a little heat pies. Yeah, right, did. he had a few too many moon pies His right there. Like oh, there's a pigeon up top. Oh, there is. All right, we gotta buy our tickets for this. Right. Okay, here is the price, eighteen ninety nine, and just to reiterate, you do not get wet. Fear not, you will not get wet on this. Okay, another boat is pulling through now, very slowly, making its way up to the dock. We are going to be in the first row. Yep. of our boat. Right here, first row. 
pulling into the station. There's our vehicle. I can sense the excitement in you, Micah. I'm so excited, honestly. I know you're gonna love this. I have no idea what to expect other than what I've seen in your videos. That's pretty much it. Yeah. He's waiting for the swamp thing, swamp thing to jump out at us. No, right? the swamps. We're going back in time. Okay, oh, there's oh, a dinosaur right there. Yes. Below the exit sign. So if we have to exit, we got to go past this dino. Oh, look up. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. He's coming at us. <laughs> right above us. Hi. Yeah, a pterodactyl up top there. Come on. I was really close to that snake. That's the look on your face right now, Micah. You're so confused. <laughs> up here. It's got a young person. He's taking a guest out of the boat and stopping mid-air. Okay, now he's going. That was someone that used a coupon code. It's a meeting of some friends right here. How's it going? Littlefoot? Littlefoot. Oh, they're telling secrets. Wait a minute. They're just Wait, telling us. Oh, look right here. That one's sleeping. Oh. Okay, last time I was on this, this wasn't working. This charges up the side of the boat here. Let's see if they fixed it. This is, I was here, what, four months ago, five months ago? Six months ago? Need some antacids. Yeah. This still isn't working. Usually this runs beside the boat. It's tired. Wait, there's another one lurking behind. Oh, now oh, it's moving. Goes. Now it's moving. Oh. Now it started moving. <laughs> a delayed movement. Is that one got a spit at us? Oh. It's like the same ones they have on the Universal Backlot Tour at Universal oh, Hollywood. Yeah. When you go through the Jurassic Park area, so that one's not spitting. Uh, I love this ride so much. It's so good. In a bad way. Amazing. <laughs> totally worth the win. 
totally worth the hike. Okay, the goats on a roof area has really everything properly adorned for Christmas here. In fact, Santa's gonna stop here. It's still a ways off, you know, it's early November, but yeah. Goats on a roof, which is always a, a place I like to stop at here. Where the goats are up here on the roof sometimes, but most of them are not up on the roof at this moment. Most of them are over here on Goat TV. I don't know if it's really a TV channel for Goat TV, but look, there's a goat there, there's a goat there, there's a goat there. Get a little, get some snacks. And those that are feeding them here. This goat is really ready. Oh, look at that goat right there. Wanting to say hi. That goat's going up to the roof. Get up there, it's called Goats on a Roof. Maybe, it, maybe it's getting a little roof shy. Here's one up here, this one's on the roof. Oh, the goat's going down from the roof now. Okay, the goat's coming down from the roof. Treading, oh, don't slip, goat. Lighting. Look at that. Got it down to a science. Yeah. <laughs> and have one of the Pigeon Forge Gatlinburg trolleys going by. Well, Pigeon Forge trolley right over there. Ooh, look at this. This is pretty neat. It's like a duck on a bicycle. A lot of these wrought iron art pieces of artwork here. This donkey on a tricycle. Got some Christmas decor here as well. And there's the goats up on the roof. And now have made it over to the shops at Pigeon Forge where there is a tow truck here for Hazard County. This is Cooter Davenport's business, Cooter's Garage, which Cooter's Garage, you or Cooter's, which is basically based on the Dukes of Hazard. It's a gift shop, used to be in Gatlinburg, moved over to Pigeon Forge a couple of years ago into a bigger spot located here at the shops at Pigeon Forge, just kind of in this parking lot up across the, across the way there. I don't know if it's frowned upon or not, but a lot of people have taken Sharpies and wrote their name. Do you think it's allowed? You're allowed to write names on the on the side? I'm sure it is. Because look, a lot of people there's a pencil have written. There's a pencil down there, number two pencil. But people have wrote their names all over Cooter's tow truck right here. And then there's the island off in the distance. The island which has the big Ferris wheel over there. Also, look at this. There's Scoob and Boog. Spook and Boog. Spook and Boog forever. You a Dukes of Hazard fan? I was as a kid, yeah. There it is, the General Lee, parked out front of Cooters. This is probably not a screen used one. I think they went through like hundreds of these vehicles when they were doing the show. I don't know if I've seen every episode, but I've definitely seen the first few seasons start to finish and then kind of peppered in the, the ones after Coy and Vance. But the first season, of Dukes of Hazzard was filmed in Covington, Georgia. That's right. And Conyers, Georgia. I've been wanting to try to get in the church that is was the was the Boar's Nest for many years now. That's right, it was a church. But I've never yeah. been by there just to see what it's like inside there. It's still there. Yeah. All right, gonna head inside. One thing I really like about this place, it's bigger than the place that was over in Gatlinburg, which was right on the side of the parkway in Ga Ga Gatlinburg, right next to where Anakista is now. Building's still there, but it's used for something else. But I think this is a better spot because there's more room and there's all these different photo ops inside that you can get your photo in different areas of Hazard County, which you couldn't do at the other place because there wasn't as much room. So definitely they have torn down, they had the original spot here and then they tore down a wall and now they expanded into a much bigger place. There's a lot of photo ops in here, which is pretty cool. And it's free to come here and take photos. And also inside, also look at it generally again with the wheel in the back quite a bit of not only merchandise, but they have like an entire, like a, mu not a call it, I guess you'd call it a museum, but they have some different artifacts and whatnot from different seasons of the shows. Mostly the first season, they have a lot of stuff from Covington in here as well, which is pretty, pretty awesome. But then they have all the mer different merchandise and photos and signed pictures and things like that. Pretty expansive area, as stated. Originally it was just one, one section of the building and then they tore down the wall and took over another business. So now they just have a lot of room put all these artifacts and merchandise and stuff in. Pretty, if you're a Dukes fan, it's worth stopping at. Not everyone's a Dukes fan. I have a little nostalgia for the Dukes, so I like stopping in here when I'm in town. And now made it five miles through the mountain out of Pigeon Forge into Gatlinburg. This is usually a fountain, but because of this time of the year, they have the water turned off and they have a pumpkin headed item here holding a sign. And I should probably show that this was where Cooters used to be. Now it's over in Pigeon Forge, but this marquee is still the same. Now right here where the Mountain Mall is now was E.E. E. Ogles 
I don't know if it's Ogle or Ogle. Probably Ogle. Probably Ogle. Probably, I, think it is, I think it might be Ogle. It was the first store in Gatlinburg. Noah Ogle's store built in 1850. And now it is this epic looking mountain mall made out of wood. This thing has been here for years. I'm gonna go inside too because there's a music shop on the bottom floor of this place, which has been here forever. They have DVDs, they have Blu-rays. They used to have vinyl. They still have CDs and whatnot. Go in there and check that out. And the name of the place is Rhythm Section. And I must say, it is still how it was for many, many years. Not only do they have CDs, but they also have a lot of vinyl and a lot of Blu-rays. They have so much, so many horror Blu-rays. I just want to show the selection of the horror Blu-rays they have. Whoever's working here obviously is stocking up on some kind of classic, you know, horror B-films. One of the best selections that I've probably seen. I would not have expected to see this in Gatlinburg inside the Mountain Mall at Rhythm Section. Yeah, definitely if you're, if you're in Gatlinburg and you need some good Blu-rays or vinyl or records, check out the Mountain Mall. Awesome. Really shocked at the selection, how good it is. And now, this snowman, because you know, the, the holidays are in full effect here, pushing a little puppy here. And next to the Mountain Mall, which was established in 1978, which has Beauregard the bear. There he is. You've never met Beauregard before nope, we in just person. Met. Super nice. And what was inside the Mountain Mall that kind of like struck a chord with you as well, no pun intended? So, you know, I bought a bunch of stickers there back in the day. So back in 2007? Yeah, Blink-182, no effects. Bunch of stuff. It's a good record store, right? Yeah. Their Blu-ray horror song. Right, I was just talking about amazing. that. Definitely. Yep. It kind of overshadows Beauregard. Didn't mean to overshadow you, Beauregard. Give you a little fist bump here. Old Beauregard the bear. We're hiding in the shadows in here, Micah. We are. You should probably explain where we are. So, 2007, my band played a show here that Tooth and Nail Records put on with a band called Joan Zetta, who were friends of ours. My cousin was in the band from Mississippi and they invited us to come and play. And we had a stage right up there. Oh, is that you? That's me. And you can see yeah. those lights. Oh yeah. That's one of those up there. Oh, that's you on stage. And that screen out. behind my brother playing drums is still up there. <laughs> it's all coming back to you now. Dude. What's the name of this hotel? The Edgewater. We went to the front desk and asked them if we could walk in here and they said, oh yeah, that's fine. Showed them the photo and they got a kick out of it too. So they said, yeah, you go in there match some stuff up so pretty cool i mean i never played in here but i understand what it's like to be in a band and return to a place that you used to play local shows out or on tour all right so there's a screen. look out the window over here and you can see the space needle yes i know there's a space needle in seattle but there's also a space needle in gatlinburg much smaller space needle there's a screen right here walk over there and then the Little Pigeon River is right down here. And we're taking this elevator down. It's kind of interesting, the name of this hotel is called Edgewater at the Aquarium, because it's really like a five minute walk from the aquarium. Yeah. But back, this is one of the older hotels in Gatlinburg. So it was promoted as Edgewater at the Aquarium. And there's other hotels between this one and the aquarium. Just things you notice. Yeah, because the aquarium is way over there. Kind of interesting. And, the mysterious mansion, the haunted house of Gatlinburg, which I highly recommend, which doesn't really allow filming. I was able to film in there one time, but it's, it was just kind of a special event that was able to go in there and film, but normally you can't film inside there, it's right over there. This is a real Gatlinburg experience. Notice my voice is echoey, because we are inside the cage. The cage is a cage match, brother. Speaking of wrestlers, you know that a wrestler is the mayor of Knoxville? Who? Kane. Really? Yeah. Undertaker's brother? Or was? I say that, I think he got elected. Now that I'm, I probably should have looked it up first. But yeah, Kane, he, is, he doesn't wear the mask. We're going up. Have you ever still been up, going up, you ever, no. You ever been up in this before? I've never been up in here. Up in here. There's stairs, and I saw a sign that said you Gotta have to agree to walk down those. Yeah. Should the elevator break down? I hope that doesn't happen. See, they don't. When you purchase the ticket, they do not tell you. Read that sign first. Make sure you can walk down the stairs. Because the sign says, if it breaks down, you'll have to walk down these stairs. I would kind of like that to happen. Yeah, that'd be fun. It'd be fun. It would be burning off some calories. Oh, for sure. 
How many calories should I give her off going out? I have no at idea. Least, at least a dozen. Thousand, dozen thousands. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> this is a relic of Gatlinburg. It's the Space Needle. Not to be confused with Seattle's. Which one's gonna open, you think? The Seattle one. Oh, you mean what door? Yeah, which door? It's gonna be this door right here. Okay. Oh! Both doors. They're both. You go out that way, I'll go We're out. Oh, you're kidding. We're up here. Oh yeah, you just walk right out here. Here's the, whatever you do, don't look down. I love it up here though. <laughs> I've been up here in the winter when this was completely ice. Oh no. Like chunks of ice up here. No, sliding across this. Oh yeah. Oh, it's all part of the experience. And this is the first time I've been back to Gatlinburg. So the Gatlinburg Inn is right here. And in this room over here, adjacent to it, is where the song Rocky Top was written. Rocky Top, Tennessee, the song was written, so the rumor says, in this room over here at the back side, well, the side of the Gatlinburg Inn. However, this area here, which I thoroughly documented, in fact, I went into a little section that was kind of closed off and abandoned back in here. Last time I was here, I don't know, four months ago, five months ago, half a year ago, I don't remember when it was, three or four months ago. Thankfully, I did that because it is gone now. It's been erased from existence. It burned down this whole section here. There was like a bar restaurant up top. There was like a knife store or something. They had some like throwing stars and things like that. And it kind of went down a little bit. It was like a three level building. And it was all right here next to it. This used to be a McDonald's. This McDonald's has been closed forever, but that building did not burn down. But this building looks so interesting that this has all been completely removed. And also, Earthquake the Ride is over there, right over there. We're gonna go on that shortly, once we go back down. Really clear like you can see the gondola from over Gatlinburg. That always gives me James Bond vibes. I can't remember what James Bond movie it was where he was on the gondola. There's also a Columbo episode on a gondola like that that went up the side of the mountain. Palm Springs though. So I think a Columbo and James Bond. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be cool if Peter Falk would have played 007? I think so. There's a lot of history up here on this little information plaque or information photo. One thing that's really fascinating is the name of the town, Gatlinburg, used to be called White Oaks Flats and was changed to Gatlinburg after the name, after the guy who owned a shop in town, Radford Gatlin. And it says here they named it because of the space he provided for the shop. But in reality, I've talked to some of the locals and the rumor is that he was not liked. He was kind of a troublemaker. And the town, they had like a town meeting and they told Radford Gatlin that if he left town, if they could never see him again, they would change the name to his last name, Gatlinburg. And that is kind of what I've always heard. I don't know if there's any truth to that, but it sounds like a good story. For 51 cents, you get yourself a little souvenir. See, I'm not lying. It is called the Space Needle. Oh yeah. It, it really does have the same name, Space Needle. Yeah. And then there's some bears and a train. The Space Needle for 51 cents, that penny could be yours. Or, back in the day, you used to take a penny and put it on train tracks, kind of did the same thing as smashing a penny for 51 cents now. They have a train here? Uh, somewhere. <laughs> All right, we're back on, there's the penny machine. We're back on the elevator, ground level, press the G for ground. What would the O be? Observation, I think O's the observation. And going back down. It's eerily quiet in here. So I guess this is like the ropes that go up and down, that like pull it up and down. This is what I'm showing here. It's gotta be. Oh, there's a pulley system of some sort. There's some bricks. Yeah, I saw the bricks. Look at this big, okay, there's a steel chain. Start to smell that food. What food? It's like a fair food. Fried food, I can smell it coming in from outside. Oh, there's another ele esca elevator oh, right there. there is. There are two. Totally two. No, I've only ever known the one. There's one that doesn't work. And there is a pulley system. There is another one over there. See the pulley. Wow, interesting. I learned something new today. Well, on the backside there, it was roped off, that entrance. That makes sense. Yep. 
least we didn't have to take the stairs. Okay, I'm walking across the street where the fire was. This is very interesting, because this is where you would go down, and then you would go down to the lower level here. This was almost ground level, and it looks like some of the businesses have moved to other areas. Remembering, the, oh, this was not been moved. Remembering the oldest bar in town, Puckers, pop up. Looks like they're moving it to a different spot, because I can't really tell where it's been moved to, though. A Puckers pop-up, but this one over here, the China Bazaar, that was the place that had like the knives and the throwing stars and whatnot. They removed over to Pigeon Forge, but it used to be kind of down like in here, this little indentation you could see where it was like a basement style. And then there was like an area back in here where I got some old timey photos a couple years ago. It was one of those places where you dress up in like period garb and whatnot as cowboys and did some photos. It was kind of like right back in here. Yeah showed this many many times in past videos and now it's kind of unusual to see it just a flat piece of land like this. Is he making the taffy? Yeah, wrapping it and everything. Is he shaking that Laffy Taffy? Yeah, shaking that Laffy Taffy. It's always interesting to see how they make this. Look at how it's just like compressing through there, dumping out into here, available for purchase at all these candies. Look, it just like slings it down in there. Yep, I said this, you like zoom in, it's like the opening of uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory with all yeah. the machines. Look at that thing over here, taking the paper. Wrapping it all up. Yeah. It's like something out of Vincent Price's laboratory in Edward Scissorhands, too. <laughs> and update time. World of Illusions is now Tennessee Stud Cider Company, an alcoholic beverage company. They have repurposed the building. The World of Illusions is now complete. Last time I was through here, it was like under construction. The building has taken shape again, and now it is stud, Tennessee stud. And around the back door where you'd exit out, check this out. MI World, Illusion World, MI World. I'm guessing that's probably Illusion World. I don't know, I kind of just make sure it's sense what that would be because you used to walk out of the backside of a world of illusion right here and out this way. But thankfully there is an attraction right next door that is on par with the greatness of world of illusion, and I'm talking about Earthquake. The ride still open for business. And I think it goes without saying, there's probably gonna be some strobe lights. So a little strobe light warning, flashing light warning now. There's a couple guests on it right now, and then we are up next. This couple has been waiting in line for a long time, and I always, always wonder what exactly she's looking at. I think she's looking at this crack up here. You could pretty much say that this is kind of similar to the Earthquake the Ride at Universal Florida, but not. All right, Micah, that's us right there. So, did you ride this in 2007? Yep, and when I was younger, too. So it's been 15 years since you've been on this. Yeah. Spoiler alert, nothing's changed. Right. Oh, wait, no, I think they may have added some new rafts. Okay. Okay, I take that back. Maybe something has changed. <laughs> Does it seem like, it seems like there's more strobe lights than last time I was on there. These, I don't know if that's an effect or if the light bulb just needs to be changed. <laughs> This is me. I have never kept track of how many times I've been on this, but it's at least 20, at least 25 times. <laughs> Probably 25 times. I might be the biggest hype man for this attraction. I don't know. I think it's probably tied between me and Jacob. Because Jacob and I have been on this a heck of a lot of times. I don't know if there's anybody else that hypes this ride up as much as I do. <laughs> this is a win in Rome moment. You have to do Earthquake the Ride when you're in Gatlinburg, and you have to do Jurassic Boat Ride in Pigeon Forge. Meaning I have to. No one else probably will, but I will, and Michael will. I plan on doing this more this week. <laughs> I haven't even done it yet. I'm just waiting for something to happen. We're moving. Oh, we're moving. Why are we oh, oh. oh! The seat's going. The seat goes up. The seat tilted back. Oh no! The problem's jammed and we're out of control! It's God. getting very dark in here. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, the seat basically gyrates and lifts up and down. And I'm hearing a monkey. Should be a big gorilla over here. It's a gorilla. It's been a train crash and it's on fire. Yes. Oh, we just got Ladies and gentlemen, we're experiencing a minor tremor here. A minor tremor. Oh, look at that clock. I don't think that, that clock doesn't work. Oh, why, look at this. We're Whoa! Completely, we're completely sideways. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look, at the Look, there's bananas oh. right here. 
<laughs> never, un never understood why there's a gorilla in an earthquake. Okay, we're going up here. Oh my god. One's an alligator, one's a crocodile, I think. Or maybe they're both crocodiles. Why do they have to be snakes? Okay, there, there was some rats there. They used to slide up and down the side of the... Oh, they're going oh, up and down the side of the wall there. I love the alligators and crocodiles up there. Wow, he's going bananas. He used a dog. Oh, look at this. It's like a piece of string. What is this piece of string hanging down right here? Look at this. It's like a piece of string right here. I don't know what that is. It's a fishing line. It's like dangling from the roof. Yeah, for real. It's like a piece of string. You can see it right there. What is this? Oh, there's another piece of string right here. What is that string now, I wonder if the water's gonna work this time. Oh, look, there's a metro sign. I've never noticed that before. Here's the water. Water's pouring out. And there he goes. That's going to do it for today from Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg. A fun time. See you in the next video. The vlog is over.